Welcome back. Um... By the way... to make chicken saute today, but I might have bought too much. I think my eyes are bigger than my stomach. I always end up having leftovers. What about you? Would you say you're a big eater? Oh, sounds like a healthy appetite. You're in luck because we've got plenty. I hope it tastes all right, but don't get your hopes too high, okay? I haven't been cooking much lately. Either way, it'll be packed full of nutrients, so don't worry about that. They say your health is your most valuable asset, you know? I figured we should think about what we're putting into our bodies. And if I could lose some weight while we're at it, I'd kill two birds with one stone. But let's put that aside for now. Anyway, why don't we start with veggies? Can you cut the tomatoes for me? Uh. I chose breast meat because it was cheap and I heard it's good for a diet, but it's kind of dry. Okay, very dry. I can barely chew through it. And that was unexpected. I don't usually mess up this kind of thing. Hey, you're doubting me, aren't you? I'm serious. I'll make up for it next time. So let's cook together again when you get the chance. It'll be so delicious, you can't help saying yum. I was just told that the chairman will be stopping by this evening. When you get back, make sure to come to the fourth floor. Oh, okay then. I'll see you all later. Talk about short notice. Maybe he wants to tell us a new joke. Who knows, but I am a little curious. Guess I'll head straight back today. still goes on walks all by himself? What do you mean? He used to belong to the priest at the Naganaki Shrine. Every afternoon, the two of them went this way for a walk. So that's what he was doing here. That is, until the priest passed away. He passed away? Oh, you haven't heard the story? I think it was about six months ago. The priest was hit by a car while walking his dog. He didn't survive. Ever since then, that dog has continued to go on walks, always stopping to sit by the site of the accident. But he refuses to let anyone take him in. Why, just the other day, my son... Oh my goodness, look at the time. I must be going. My son will be home soon. Such a loyal dog. 
the boy. Huh? Is he... What's wrong? Uh, oh, nothing. Sorry, more importantly, isn't the chairman coming today? We should probably go get ready. Yeah, you're right. See you later, Koro-chan. Hello, everyone. I gathered you all here because I wanted to let you know how my research has been going. It concerns the shadows that have been appearing during full moons. Now, I want you to listen closely. It might be hard to follow. Shadows can be divided into 12 categories, according to their characteristics. This we've known for a while. We can think of it like their class or order. I've classified the special shadows we've seen so far, and, well, it's simply fascinating. Why are you so excited about it? So... Ah, <laughs> right. Those four shadows belong to categories one through four in order of their appearance. They may have looked different than the more common ones, but the classification scheme still applies. And that's something we should be excited about? Oh, I get it. There are 12 in all, and eight we haven't seen yet. That's exactly right, Yamagishi-kun. You're quite sharp. Oh, uh, okay, but what are they after? That's a good question, and that's what we haven't figured out yet. Their motive. They don't kill their prey. They feed on their minds. Now, it could be considered predation, but is it really? Is there actually an underlying intent behind their behavior? The purpose of the shadows as a whole. That's what we need to consider. This is interesting. But no matter what their intent, we still have to beat the rest of them. I agree. That's about all we can do at this point. Eight more, huh? Lucky us. According to the data, each one has been stronger than the last. That means we better start training harder. We'll manage. We've got plenty of time. But why does Tartarus even exist in the first place? From looking at a single jab, you can tell how different everything is at the top level. And not only are both fighters strong, they each have their own unique fighting style. What kind of fighter is your favorite?
Yeah. It's exciting to see when someone's at a disadvantage, but they can instantly turn the tables with a single crippling blow. We don't see it much in amateur matches because they wear headgear. But KOs are one of the most thrilling parts of boxing. Now that I'm watching these again, I can see there's a lot to learn from professional matches. Plus, when I do it here, I have someone to discuss things with. Let's do this again next time you're free. Man, watching those guys fighting is making it hard for me to sit still. You wanna head to my room and wail in the punching bag for a bit? I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. Bye bye.
Okay, so... Yeah... Yeah. 
This way, officer. By the time I noticed the door was halfway open, his room was already like this. I've left the place untouched as you requested. Hmm. Whose room is this? Junpei Iori, a second year student. I've been trying to reach him on his cell phone, but he hasn't responded in the last half hour. <sighs> it was careless of me to let my guard down. The storm was attacked once in the past. Perhaps Iori himself is at fault here. However, if harm has fallen upon him as head of seas, I am accountable. I hate to say it, Kirijo-san, but he most likely... Huh? Kirijo-senpai? What the hell? Kurosawa-san? What's going on here? Iori? Where were you? I've been trying to get a hold of you. Huh? Oh, uh, it was hot, and the AC was busted, so I went to the manga cafe, but I fell asleep. Well, I'm just glad you're safe. So if it wasn't an attack, then it must have been theft. Why would the burglar target this room? Burglar? What else could it be? Someone clearly ransacked the place looking for something, vandalizing a school dorm. When I find out who did this, I'll see to it that they face a swift execution. Well, son, sounds like you've got a death sentence. How about it, Iori? Was this room really vandalized? Ah, uh, well, this is how my room always looks? What? But, I mean, you can't possibly live like this, can you? What about the door? It was open. Oh, that? I was just airing the place out while I was gone. No one we don't know ever comes around, so... Huh. I think this case is closed. May I get back to my duties now, young lady? Oh, uh, yes. I'm sorry you had to witness something so disgraceful. I apologize for all this. It seems I grew up more sheltered than I realized. You're not even gonna yell at me? And what's the deal with calling the cops over a messy room anyway? What the hell did I do to deserve this? Hey, wait. I drew that worst luck fortune on the way back. to the snacks as well, if you'd like. Today, I wanted to show my thanks for your hard work, as well as check in to see how you're doing. Ever since you joined us, you've been taking on a lot of responsibility as leader of our group. Have you been running into any trouble? If you have, please don't be afraid to let me know. Well, that's good to hear. I have to say, I'm always inspired by the way you remain calm, no matter the situation. Your cup is empty. Let's pour you another. It's late. We ended up spending a lot of time here. Let's turn in for the night. Oh, I'll take care of the cleanup. I'm glad we had the chance to talk today. I'd like to invite you again when the opportunity arises. Then with that, I bid you a good night. Uh-huh. How 
did I? Whoa! What the heck is this? Good evening. <sighs> Are you surprised? Truth be told, we all visit this world every night. What are you saying? Who the hell are you? <sighs> Didn't mommy teach you any manners? You haven't even introduced yourself. Come on, take a look. Name, address, age, etc. This is you, right? Huh? Where did you get this? Somebody's got a grudge against you. And they asked us to get revenge. Revenge? What kind of bullshit is this? Who put you up to this? Can't tell you. We're professionals. Professionals? Oh shit! Those rumors online. You're saying they're true? For real? Shall we get this over with now? Hey, wait! I haven't done anything! Why me? What'd I do? That is not our concern. Your notion of right and wrong is irrelevant. My client's wishes are all that matter. People hear what they choose to hear, and believe what they want to believe. No! Stay away! Get away from me! You squeal most magnificently. Such raw emotion. He's not dead. Doesn't matter. We held up our end of the bargain. Besides, tomorrow this will just seem like some random crime. Well, if there's nothing else, I'm feeling rather tired. you today just one I'll have what he's having hmm? coming right up one house special don't you get sick of eating the same thing all the time shut up you're the one always eating that protein shit <laughs> here you go one house special uh, be careful it's hot So, you still haven't made up your mind? Is that what this is about? We've got four new members this year. Things have changed quite a bit since you left. We're more aggressive now. Not interested. Think about it, Shinji. Don't let your power go to waste. My power ain't worth shit. 
Shinji. I made up my mind a long time ago. I ain't going back. You have to let the past go. What's done is done. It's time you moved on. <laughs> you should talk. What? Face it, you're no different than me. Hey, Shinji! <sighs> oh, it's you. Welcome back. Measuring the pH of the soil, or monitoring how much sunlight they're getting? Oh, um, yes. I looked up a bunch of stuff online. I thought it might be helpful. I do like flowers and stuff, but I've never really worked with them outside of arrangements. I've always wanted to try putting in the work to grow some, though. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to go on about myself like that. Shall we keep working for a bit more? I'll go get some water. This looks good. Do you think you could invite me when you tend the plants again? I'll do more research so I'm in a better position to help out next time too. Chicken tenderloin, eggs, broccoli. We're gonna boil them one after the other. This is a staple for an athlete. Full of valuable nutrients and not too hard to cook either. The problem is what comes after. Next, you gotta portion everything out and then put it in the freezer. It's a lot of work.
<laughs> Not really. I'm just lazy, so I want to do everything in one go. But if I want to get stronger, I have to do whatever it takes. All right, let's get started. Huh, it's done. This should last for a while. That really went by fast. The work is so much more efficient with two of us. Here, you take some too. It's perfect for a midnight snack, since it won't really put on fat. I know your diet is important for building a strong body, but I'll admit, I'm not much of a cook. I could use your help again sometime, if you don't mind. I might be able to try something more elaborate with your help. Maybe I should buy some pig's feet. I hear they're rich in collagen. And that's how it's done. So... He's not so good. Can't put too much weight on it. Okay, then let's take an early break. You mind giving Kaz's leg a quick massage? No problem. Let's see that leg. Sorry. You're missing practice because of me. Hey, don't be like that. This is for your nephew, right? Still, I'm really sorry. Have a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. Uh, actually, let's go somewhere else. I don't want anyone from the team here. Plus, it might take a while, so... Let's go somewhere. Anywhere. Where do I even start? It's all a mess in my head. First things first. This is for you. My nephew gave it to me. He said it's a good luck charm. He gave me more than I'll ever need. And if you get hurt during practice, now you can tape yourself up. I wanted you to be the first to know. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna have surgery to fix my knee. I don't think there's enough time for me to recover by then, but that's okay. I don't mean to pout or anything. I'm just trying to stop making selfish choices. I don't think it's right for the whole team to suffer because of my knee and my nephew. Even if I manage to win, I don't think I'd feel good about it afterward. Up until now, all I could think about was winning. But my eyes opened up after Coach grilled you about my knee. It was such an obvious thing. I realized I can't keep thinking only about myself. Winning still means a lot to me. That's part of who I am, and that's probably not going to change. But for now, I'm not going to worry about winning races. 
I'm gonna focus on winning back my health instead. You think so? In a good way, right? Like, I'm more mature. Anyway, I can't just keep asking for your help all the time. That said, thanks for everything you've done for me so far. Between practice and rehab, I'll have a lot going on. But I'm gonna kick butt both of them. And someday, I'll kick your butt too. I'm gonna go tell my nephew what happened and offer to go through rehab with him. I wonder which one of us will recover first. He's a tough one, you know, just like me. 